Welcome to Hanson's Clock Shop, and uh, we're in, located in Solvang, California, and on the World Wide Web at ClocksClocks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to open up and set up your cuckoo clock, a mechanical cuckoo clock, um, one without batteries, and um, just get your box there and open the top, and look at your numbers there on the side, and open the top of your clock. PDS certificate that they're made in Germany and your instructions. And first you want to find your pendulum. And there we have it. This is what regulates the clock here. It's real important. If you don't have your pendulum swinging back and forth to the left and right, it, your clock will run way too fast and it won't be accurate. And this is how you regulate it also. If your clock's running slow, you'll move the shield down. It'll slow your clock down. And if you move it up, it'll speed it up. And it's just friction tied on here. Just moves like so. Approximately three-eighths of an inch movement is approximately three, four minutes a day. That's just approximate. So there's your pendulum. Next, we have our weights. This is a one-day cuckoo only, so we have two weights here. That's what powers your clock. If you have a musical one, you'll have three weights. One of my favorite models here, the Mill in the Black Forest. So, you're going to be hanging the clock from the top up here. This hole here is merely to take the back off. This one's to adjust your gong if you need. And sometimes they'll just have a little slit here without a hole, and you'll need a pencil to pry the back off, just like so. So on the gong we have this piece of paper, and that's just to prevent it from rattling. Just take it off. It's important your bellow clips right here. These two clips on the bellows um, will sometimes have a red indicator that says pull out, or some of the factories just use a piece of uh, metal bent on there without the red and you need to pull those off. They hold the bellows shut for transportation and prevent the um, lift that moves the bird's tail, maybe getting above the bird's tail. That would prevent your clock from uh, closing going back in the door. So you need to remove those two clips. Your door has a little recess here it will go on the bottom and then just slide it shut. Now on the bottom here we have your on and off lever. Sometimes they're located on the left side of the clock too. It depends on the manufacturer. It might have a lever that moves down to turn it on, up to turn it off. In this case down is on. Pushing it up just a little bit turns off your cuckoo and the clock still keeps going. So we'll turn it on. I'm going to undo this wire that's holding the chains and it also holds the chains in the bag but it prevents the chains from flipping off the wheel in transportation. It holds them taut. And if you didn't have that wire the chain would probably flip off the wheel on the inside and you'd have a clock that wouldn't run. So once I pull that wire out I'm going to keep this clock Pretty vertical. I'm certainly not going to turn upside down and jiggle it and stuff like that. I'm going to keep it vertical. And your two hooks here are where the weights hook on. You know, you could uh, hang it on the wall if you want. I'm just showing you here. And then pull out the wire. So there are your two weights. And a little leader right here. This is where the pendulum hangs on. Occasionally it might get stuffed up inside the case. When you have your back door off, you want to make sure it's through that slot right there. And that just hooks on. So I'm going to pull out that wire. Sometimes you'd have to twist it to pull it out. here on the cuckoo door. You know, want to slide that out of the way. I wouldn't bother pulling it out. You won't notice it's there. It just keeps the door shut. 
So you're going to set the time with the clock here clockwise or counterclockwise with the minute hand. Minute hand only, the long hand. You can go backwards, you'll hear a little slip of the clutch. It's nice to do it in by the center of the hand here. Sometimes people push on the end and they snap the wooden hand off. So we're going to get 11 cuckoos here. You see the weight coming down. This weight powers the cuckoo, this weight powers the clock. And um, that's how you wind it. This is a one day duration clock. You'll probably pull up on the morning in the morning and um, before going to bed at night, but you can pull up any time you want. You pull down on the chain to bring the weight up. And this one will come down accordingly, approximately the same amount as the uh, cuckoo weight. So, And you just need to give your pendulum a tap to get it started there. You want to hear the most even tick-tock sound on the wall, too. You know, it makes a difference. A little quarter inch can make an irregular sounding tick-tick, tick-tick. You could even close your eyes and do this and get the most even beat. And then you'll have your clock running and after a day or so, you'll find you need to adjust that pendulum bob. Up will speed your clock up, down will slow it down. Thank you very much for watching Hanson's Clock Shop and clocksclocks.com on the web.